One of the biggest cities in the world is playing host to one of the greatest poker tournaments. This is the Party Poker World Open 5 from the Palm Beach Casino in London. Eight players take their seats in a bid to win their way through to the final, with the runners-up getting their second chance in the playoffs. Tonight, Heat 1 continues with some of the best in the business, all vying for their share of $480,000. Two TV titles to his name, but Ian Fraser won't be taking this one down. He made a move and ran into Timoshenko's aces. Holy he cow. He sold him a bill of goods. Holy cow. And two pair, no good to send him packing. Started out so well right now, just not his day. World Series final table as James Aikenhead went out next. After making a big lay down with Ace King to save his tournament, it was his undoing as he ran into Timoshenko's Queens. You are good. And for James Aikenhead, it looked like it was always against him here tonight. Also leaving the table, London pro Andy Ward, so we're down to five. Hanging on is satellite winner Jason Adams with just over 200K. Online qualifier Jorg Muller is in good shape with 523,000 chips, as is our other online qualifier Christian Schaefer, who has 481,000 chips. The king of online trash talk Luke Schwartz has 380,000 chips, and way out in the lead, the most successful tournament player this year, Yevgeny Timoshenko, with over 800,000 in chips. Joining me in the commentary box is Phil Locke as this sure. triple stacked first I don't heat know, I, I been powers on. As many mistakes back then. And Luke Schwartz, now he's huh? still got over 35 big yeah, blinds. Sorry. Just a little frustration yeah. maybe in that fold well, there. Raise to 25. Jason Adams is going to either raise or raise. <laughs> well, right? does, I mean, does he have a raise that's not a shove? He's found one, right? but this is a raise that's intending to call a shove. Right, yeah, of course. So, And when you have this hand, it, these players know what's going on. They're, they know he's pot committed. He's putting it all in. He's just, you know. Hi. No, it's an interesting yeah. session, situation for Ace Jack. You know, Ace Jack has the big fat stack, and he's counting the stack down. This would either be a very understandable call yeah. or a very good fold. Timoshenko just weighing it up here. Come on. All in. Oh, I'm poking it. And four. Yes, it's no. no. Miss it. Well, Adam's all in and it's a race. He doesn't look happy and you wouldn't. Tournament life at stake. Good luck. Thank you. You too. Could have been worse for me. Hmm. But look at this. The ace jack just caught up and now has more chips than ever he thought before. Wow. But I actually would have folded. Six. Just two nines. Jason Adams from Bridge North. Done well tonight, needs that nine. but the nines Thank are you. not nice doing it. Thanks, guys. Wow. Good job. Wow. And that was a big pot he played there, Jason Wow, Adams. these guys <laughs> feel like they're playing for second right now after seeing something like that. I was happy about that, but didn't want to look retarded on TV. He has the worst sand. The worst ace. Look at that. Over a million. Holy cow. There's only 2.4 million in play. And Timoshenko has been on cruise control. I don't know. I know he doesn't play online, which <laughs> makes me a little uneasy about calling. He knew he was playing whatever he had in it, obviously. Yeah, I, I knew he was. Playing. But he did kind of overraise it, but he did look a little bit weaker, didn't it? I've seen I've seen people fold there before, so. Yeah. I just <laughs> want to yeah, don't get on the really show. hard on yeah. TV by like Ace Four on those folding to the show. Yevgeny and uh, Luke Schwartz are both internet young guys, and they really are uh, dispassionate thinkers when it comes to the game. They're post mortem past hands, online, live, whatever. 
that's one of the key traits I've noticed in internet young guys is they just talk about poker with anybody that wants to talk about it, even if it's their rival for the actual event they're in. They're, time, yeah. They can strategize right after a hand. It's just yeah, beautiful. It's yeah. great. That's, that's a love for the game, a love for games. Yep. I think when you start having success and winning, it, it sort of snowballs and you get a lot of confidence, you get a lot of momentum and you play better and as a result your results get better. I think my game is very versatile. If I'm playing at a table with a lot of amateurs, I'm really going to want the structure to be slow, to give me more time to pick good, good spots and uh, pick up hands and play small pots and not be forced to gamble early on. I really want to win this tournament. It'd mean a lot. One so thing. Still one million for you, Vashenko. Schaefer has it. 400 to 500 to Mueller. 400 for Schwartz. Can Tiboshenko sort of raise every pot that's not opened, or is that just silly? No, I think that's silly. Because then you'll get. You got a pushed off of real hands too often. I like this call. You have 40% of a straight flush. It's very small to get in. <laughs> you know? And I think just call here. Just look at the flop. You don't have to expose yourself to... And he does. He checks. 20% of a royal flush. Yeah, so he's got 600. Yeah. It's true. It's true. So what do we got for a flop here? Two, six, nine. A 3 4 is a, a gutter. But he also has a weak hand. This is a great time to bet when you have air, but a hand. It's much better than like a, a, a 10 3 bet because 10 is a stronger hand, but you really can't get anywhere if the guy calls. You want to have something to connect with. Now he can pray for a 5. Well, this is an interesting call because Muller has more plans than just hitting the 5, doesn't he? Right, he's floating. It's an odd kind of bet, isn't it? 34 into 74, it's less than half the pot. I wonder if Schaefer wants to be called. I wonder if he wants to, to get a fold. I wonder if he knows what he wants here. Uh, right, it's a value bluff, blocker, fold bet. No, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, he, he, he wants a call. He just doesn't want to raise. A call, he's going to start thinking my opponent has 9-10 or 10-7 you know, of spades. I'm just wondering, like, if, if, if Muller calls here, then there's so many cards on the pot's going to be 140. Oh, wow. wow. Muller's start getting ready for a raise, it looks like. Wow. Oh. See, this is exactly why Schaefer. Schaefer doesn't want, and Schaefer could have avoided this by just checking and then just call the river. And it's a tough spot. You've turned a good hand into a scary proposition. Now he's turned this hand into it, a defining he, hand for his yeah. tournament, what if right? He, what if he can feel that his opponent has 10-7 of spades and it's a move? If he can do that and go all in, but he won't. You know, it's just too, the math is too in favor of folding. Repping nothing but only <laughs> nevertheless. Uh, How strong was that play from Muller? Wow. Wow. How strong? Welcome back to the 10K buy-in Party Poker World Open from the Palm Beach. Right here in London. One thing Luke hasn't done is uh, he hasn't tilted the rest of his chips away. He's, he's treating them with the respect they deserve. Yep, and he's nursing them, you know? And he's at 361 down, he was down to three something. Or It's a big hand. Raise. That's First a definite raise. It's a nice hand. And it's a, what, small blind, big blind? 
Uh oh. Wow. Yevgeny is like, wow, I got him again. Should I? Can I? Weaker hand I call? Uh, I think 350. 350? You know, <sighs> Luke doesn't really have enough chips for Schwartz to worry about, excuse me, for Timoshenko to worry about getting it in slightly behind, does he? You know what I... Uh, this is a tough spot because Schwartz is... If, if Evgeny raises, which he just might do, because it looks like he has the best hand. No, I, I, he might just call and let him hang himself. Actually, you know what? Timoshenko's going to call. You got it. Yeah. Because that's what you're supposed to do. And Yevashenko plays good. Because you know? if he did raise, he would then have to get all the chips in if Schwartz wanted to. Well, huh? was, he was just going to be in a tough spot. That, that famous thing of where you really don't want to... He Now, Luke has got respect. He knows that his opponent has a good hand. But look at what he did. He flopped top pair with King Kicker. It's a monster. I wonder if... If Genny's watching Luke do the thinking. <laughs> Trying to look a little nervous, perhaps, Luke? I don't know if he's sh searching for that. I think he just does his thing and it naturally confuses well, people anyways. <laughs> you know? Bet. So he bet 45 into a $70,000 pot. So now Yumashenko is thinking, well, I got to call 45 for 115. Why am I calling? Well, I guess for a king, queen, or that's about it. So I think he's going to fold. He has played very well today against Luke Schwartz. Oh. And he's this calling for value, by the way. He's not calling so much as to steal it later. Maybe if he senses weakness, he'll try and win it, you know. But he's really calling because he thinks he's now he's, wow, he's backed into a nice hand. He has so two overclubs in his train. Well, we basically have a <laughs> second pair flush draw against a straight draw and two overcards. Real hands. Pot has 160 in it, and the stack sizes are important now. <laughs> Luke has 288 left, and the pot has 160 in it. You have Genny's got infinite at 1 million. So if Luke bets out about 100, he can't really fold for the rest of his chips, can he? Uh, he would be able to. Yeah, it would he be would 188 be for, well, yeah, because he would believe he was beat. If you put in 100, I think what he should do is, uh, I don't know, it's a tough spot. Well, it's an know. awkward stack side, isn't it, Phil? I mean, Luke, I he's got a flush draw. He can't really bet out and fold, can he? He right. might, could he check raise, or could he just bet small? I mean, what what do you think his options are here? Well, that's a Tim Oshenko bet. Right. <sighs> it's funny, because it's, uh, he, he might just call for the straight draw. But it, it does feel like a bet of strength, and it does give him an out to get out. I think he will fold if it went all in. Because it would be a 200 to collect 400, and he only has one card to come, which is one in five that he really locks it up with the flush. You know, if you get raised here... Cool. Oh, wow, he called instantly. He That's did. Good, he seemed to know. Wow. He seemed to know he was ahead, Jeez. and that he is 82% here. I thought he was betting 72 to get away from it. Wow. Has Timoshenko wow. made a mistake? Has Schwartz made a read? Either way, <sighs> the queen. This is huge. This pot's the huge. Nine, it's 736,000. It can't be a heart. This is insane how big this pot is. Full flush is back. Wow. Wow. Full flush popped it up to 736, and now he's the new chip leader. Well, he just snapped a little him. He bit. Evgeny, yeah. Evgeny. Evgeny's got uh, 710, so he just became the chip leader by 25. That was insane. Uh, I guess he made the small bet thinking that his hand for value was very strong and can call a lot. Like, that was incredible. I love it. I love it. Yeah. How strong is that? And look at these stats There's now. There's the same everything right down the line. The same stacks, the same aggression, the same, well, the voluntarily putting chips in the pot. You can see Luke is a little bit more free with that and same with steal attempts. Uh, wow, it's incredible.
And with the blinds 10 and 20,000, is there still room to maneuver? You know, how important is it right now to get ahead? Timoshenko, he's... In the last couple times he came over the top of Luke, he didn't really have anything. He will this time. I just wonder... What his thought process was there, Phil? Mueller will fold this. Uh, well, I'm not sure. The, you know, aggression is the key in these four-handed things now. It's almost like... This is a raise, or I don't think I would call. Call. It's almost like Timoshenko, you know, Schwartz has showed him so many of those tight folds that it's, it's almost like put Timoshenko off a little bit call. with the liberal re-raising. Right. Or, as you said, is this hand so marginal that... He doesn't want to turn it into a bluff. Right. He wants to play it for value. Yeah, I think a lot of it is that. Now, the a6 is going to be in a pickle because of just this sort of thing. You need to hit two pair with a6. Ace, two, three, four, five. At least they can hit the Broadway. It's, he has to check call. If you bet, you know, you can get away from the hand easier than... Okay, this is great for Tim Shemko, and it's going to make the a6 easy to fold. I right. Mean, if Mueller Schwartz can't, yeah. Oh, yeah. If it goes bet call, now it'll be fold because he'll put Evgeny on a real hand. Schwartz hasn't bet yet, but it's probably he recognizes his only chance to win this pot. Yeah, and the pot got big because you know you do a three x bet and you get three callers. The blinds are with the big blinds fifteen. You, it's going to be one fifty. No time flat. Well, the blinds are ten and twenty now. Ten and twenty. And he made it 45 and got called in three spots. There you go. Tim Moshenko knows I, what he's I, doing. No, 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 he's I raised don't like this. Raising. I, I just like calling. And uh, this has taken Muller off the hand for sure, right, for hasn't sure it? he's going to fold. I mean, if you put your opponent on 3-5, maybe you... 185 total. Now he has a hand that can beat you that you'd want to charge him for. And would ace-queen fold here? Maybe. Ace-king might not, but... So Tim Oshenko is just taking a position. This pot's big enough. I need to win it now, and I'm going with his hand. At this stage, I'm going with the hand. Yep. I did so many things wrong now. If I hadn't started talking to you when it was his go, he could have put me on a stronger hand, like ace-king, ace-queen. Um, you know, those are the only hands I'm back calling there, so, you know, I don't have that. So it's the easiest raise in the world for you. Uh, if you had a bigger stack, you can raise up, but I think he's, you know, since he is the lowest at three... He's not the lowest. He has 360. But he has time to wait for a real hand. Like, you know, you can raise with ace-10. Now you've getting beat you to the punch, but... I actually think this is better to raise here than to call. But I wonder what he's going to do, because I really admire his game. Your small blind, big blind, you have to raise with the intention of calling? 55 total. Oh my gosh. They're going to get it in, aren't they? No. No, I I think ace eight here it's, it's a reasonable call or a fold. I don't think raising with ace eight is the right idea. I actually, uh, well, I'm af afraid to tell the world that I might even consider folding. Wow, really? You tell the world that, and then all of a sudden you can't ever play a big blind. You know, everyone's raising you. <laughs> I, they said you were in it, Look, Phil, but I never believed it. Look at this. No, that's a raise. It looks like, and. Uh, Against the range the, of, of cards that his opponent can have, it's it's reasonable. Although Yevgeny's been playing his small blind against him in his big blind spots pretty carefully. So yep. and Yevgeny knows that he knows that. So oh, but he feels his hand is really strong. Okay, now he's got to do oh. the math. Yeah. Oh. Well, either way, it all went off. Yeah. Yevgeny made a By tough decision. Look he, easy. Yeah. And when Mueller raised, now he's pot committed. It probably the, I didn't check the math, but it's probably. Uh, He's thinking if he, my opponent has ace-king or... 
This York Miller's been something special tonight. Oh and he my can, will Lord. continue. Holy cow. This is an insane turn of events. That eight is sick, sick suck out power beat. And the ace, you know, well, is a blank. You really... It is, although a four now, or an ace. No, so just a four for the split. Or a ten for a win. Ten for a win. Oh, oh one a card away. That was a real tough beat to take. And for yeah. York Muller, he can hardly believe it. Uh, but you know what? That's poker sometimes. Sometimes you make, uh, you make a move into a bigger hand and you get there sometimes, you know? And... This is going to really flatten out the stacks. Well, look at the chips now. Jorg Muller, a uh, big stack, but 600,000 wow. average, and it wow. is a dogfight. And, you know, oh, wow, it's just incredible. And you can't feel guilty printing those eights. That's poker. Sometimes you make a move, you run into a bigger hand. That's just what happens. Muller. It must feel like he has the big stack, but it's not like massively bigger than the rest of them. Okay, this is a big hand and he's not going anywhere. Now, what he wants somebody to do is to re-raise him. For sure, for sure. So he calls selling weakness. I don't know. Well, he's, he's made just over a min raise here, Phil. Oh, he did raise. 000. Oh, I, I didn't yeah. see that. I thought he called. I like that he did a raise. That's great. Schwartz could easily slip the noose. Yep. He could. He totally could. And I mean, you know, Schwartz has 570, and Sch Schaefer has 380. Yeah. He could. I mean, Ace Nine is a monster hand, four-handed. Let's face it, and it's suited, which makes it looks better. And Schwartzy is, Sch Schwartzy. Did I just say that? Sorry, Luke. And Luke is chewing his bubble gum. You know, he's popping bubbles. He's feeling good. He can call and look at the flop if he's that worried, but I think he's going to... Is he really going to fold? Is he that good? Bubble gum, chewing, popping Luke. If he folds, I'll go like, holy cow. Let me stay away from Luke at a poker table. I mean, all in would just be so standard. Everything else is a deviation. Okay. Isn't it? Wow. Doesn't it look like his energy is tilting towards folding? It's interesting. Yeah. Holy cow. He's got, he got a read. I love this that guy. That is so, that was sick, right? He's in his bubblegum pop chewing relax mode, you know? That was just. Is Timoshenko as good? <laughs> wow. Is Timoshenko as good? I mean, Luke, that was a great fold, kid. Ace nine of clubs, no problem toss, you know? Oh, it's only 25,000 for Yevgeny to call. That's exactly what Schaefer wanted. Now, he's just waiting for what? I don't know. He's going to call. He he didn't know what he was waiting for. He knew he was calling. He's Unbelievable stuff, though. <laughs> wow. Yevgeny doesn't feel about this good about this even after he said I thought you folded an ace he know? just couldn't get away from the math of the situation wow. could he and who could blame him Chase knew he was going to call he's just in a trance Well, Timoshenko's got chips back, but if the ace doesn't come, Phil, there's not going to be many. I mean, is this the end of Yevgeny? Yevgeny, if Yevgeny Folt loses this, he's down to 244. If he wins, he's well over a million again. This is a huge hand. Now he wants the 10. He ace is no good. Yep, he has two 10s and three, uh, no, just two 10s. Two wow. tons of outs. So he just had the two outs. And Schaefer's going to be wow. chipped later. But the story of that hand, how did Luke Schwartz get away Luke from it? Schaefer Schwartz doubled up. Hats off to Luke Schwartz. It's not because you folded an ace. It's not likely he has an ace. Yeah, left like course. So he can only call you with high pairs and that. Or a pair. Yeah, I was pretty sure you had like medium ace. Yeah, that's what I thought. If I think opening he's opening a strong, a strong hand, then that's, that's worse for me because it's less likely he has an ace and more likely he has like 
it's not like a parasite. Yeah, but look at their analyzing that hand. Dispatch. That's what I thought. It was. I thought he was definitely strong there because I'm like three bent three times from there. So I didn't think he was going to be bluffing there. That's what I thought. It's not an easy one. Yeah. You want me to show? Yeah, I know. Mean, if I was in the big blind, I would have shoved in it. I had you behind as well. I find the three bent so much, I would have shoved as well. But. Look at that, how the the two guys in the right there, Schwartz and Evgeny. Are I know. It's yeah. It, it's yeah, they're post mortemizing just one hand later with dispatch, and you know, wow, two kings. And and Evgeny's not even too bummed about it. He's just like, well, that's what happened. So of course Schwartz is hoping that somebody wakes up with a hand here. That's kind of a hand. I mean, four-handed ace eight is a hand. Yep. I, I agree with this play. Schwartz, you know, playing, look, I, I don't mind this play at all, you know? And he's just run into a hand. Uh, cool. Very unlucky. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Evgeny can take yeah, it, man. He's, 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 cool. won, he's won enough money that he can take it. He knows the pain and the whole thing, you know? He yeah. is, he's a cool guy, this Evgeny. I have a feeling it's and a great player. Place. I hope so. <laughs> Luke has a feeling an ace is oh, coming. Oh, it's ugly. Well, it looks like <sighs> an ace is what's needed at this point. Of course, runner, runner, this king, space. queen, you know. Making a sweat. Okay, oh, he needs a straight up ace. Oh, seven. Six, seven. Yeah, nine would work for the oh, straight. Oh, nine, a nine for a straight. Check it out. That just made a, a gutter ball. Two. Well Close, but Cigarillo and Sayonara wow. for this a million, a million to none. I mean, and it wasn't because of bad play. It was because poker can deal that sort of pain. Sure. Cool. Well, they call him Jovial Jet, and he is that every step of the way tonight here, Phil, wasn't yep. he? He is a gentleman. I've hung out with him some, and he's a real nice guy, you know? Now, obviously, you being there at the table with a big stack was affecting play a huge amount. Now that it's redistributed the chips and they're three-handed, what kind of play do we expect to see out there? Well, four-handed lasted for a really long time. Yeah. All four players were really strong and were playing pretty good poker four-handed. Now that the, the stacks are even, I expect to see a lot, of, a lot of small pots, a lot of small ball. People making small raises on the button and the blinds usually folding and sometimes calling. And, the pot's been small for the most part. None of these guys are really doing anything crazy, so I, I expect three-handed to last for for quite a long time unless someone gets real unlucky. Okay, well, thank you very much for your analysis of it and uh, commiserations on going out at this stage. Thanks. Thanks. This is the Party Poker World Open 5, and after three catastrophic all-ins, we've lost our big stack, Yevgeny Timoshenko. The next person out has no shot at the final. So it's full flush plus two internet qualifiers for that seat in the final. He's blowing bubbles. There's tension out there, though. So 10-5, just fold this, whatever, you know. 10-3, whatever it is, just... He raises with air. Just a little min raise and... You know, small blind, big blind, you're going to get a lot of hands to fold. The problem is you're playing a really smart guy who knows that calling even with air or a, the best hand, it's tough to... And Jorg knows he just, you just can't run away anymore, can you? Right, you got to play some hands. This flop hits them both, sort of. We have a gutter ball and an over card and top pair with a garbage kicker. Hard luck and a hard decision. Uh, uh, if he's cutting chips for a raise, he's going to probably be a little bit disappointed. Although we. Uh, wow. You shake your head and then raise. Yeah, what does that mean? Yeah, yeah. normally it means a monster. Raise it to 126. Schwartz probably thinks he's against like King Two of Clubs or. Ace two of clubs. Not king four, gutter ball and overcard. He doesn't think that. How much that. is he playing behind now? 
It's amazing because it's a min raise. It it looks so strong, right? Yep. In a vacuum. Why do you shake your head and then go and then raise? <laughs> Okay, maybe because he couldn't believe he was about to do what he did and <laughs> he's gonna get it through maybe I'm not even losing anything uh, losing to anything but you shook your head so you just got a massive hand yeah see that's a live player thinking and that's what I would think too what a massive hand can you have anyway I'm all in has he gone all in he has figured it out wow how did he figure it out? Wow. What did he get right? <laughs> In the course of talking to him, Muller must have reacted somehow. I don't know. Muller must have given something Luke off. Luke knows that he's got the best hand now. Cause he, and he knows he doesn't get insta called. He's, it's not ace four and ace three of clubs, you know? You know, you think he's giving away so much information by his talking, but maybe he's getting it at the same time. Right. It's, it's interesting. He, he talked that one out loud to himself. He's, too, he's like, well, what do you have? I mean, like, pocket eights gets re-raised pre-flop anyways, right? That was a hammer. That was, that was the hammer of four right there. That was, I think I have the best hand. If he has a flush draw, let's go, you know? Talk about the Schwartzes with him. And Mueller wants to get all of his money in here. He's putting in one fifth of his stack with a raise. Shaper's wondering, can I get him off his thing if I? Yeah, it's kind of cards. Could you? Let's see. How much he start the hand with? Oh wow! But this is a real hand. He's Luke got Schwartz a customer. I wouldn't be surprised if he says all in. He's turning away because he knows he can just like the guy can call with bug at eights and it's 80 20. Yeah. See, this is tough now. I got a pair. Well, he has called and. See how the pot got smaller, guys. Yeah. At home? It's four now. That that's it. One so guy called. who's uh, who's not shouldn't be unhappy about this. Schaefer. If uh, Schwartz takes Muller out, he, he gets heads up on a free roll. Yep. Neither guy is. I mean, you got to get chips. Racing with Ace Jack against pocket deuces is not such a bad deal. Sometimes, you know, you got to get chips to win this thing. Brave, brave call by Muller. Well, the pair on the board coming. has given Muller some extra outs. Seven yep. right now. A seven, six, a seven, eight, three. We all want that seven. That's three. A good card. Or seven. the running pair. Seven, a a three. seven, three, ace, jack. Yep, no, seven, it. three, ace, jack. Seven, three, ace, jack. It's always so painful on the river. Deuces wow. hold, we're heads up. Deuces hold, we're heads up. Incredible. That was a. a Lucky. And I guess it is a call because against the range of hands that he's supposed to have, he's not supposed to have ace jack that often three-handed. So it's, you know, it's a tough spot to have such a big hand and then have such a weak hand beat you. It's tough. Now, Luke, a guy, Phil, who is as confident as he is in his, in his poker game, his heads-up, no-limit game, you know, for him, this is like walking on a Sunday in the park. That's what he, this is his home. It's true. Two-handed is very similar to three-handed. Uh, Schwartz has a lot of experience heads up. You know, but you know, anybody that plays these six-handed things gets a lot of experience heads up because they come down to heads up a lot. And who's hit it? No one's hit it. But, I mean, there's a gutter ball there for a five and a runner or a flush drop, whatever that's worth. But they both have paired draws, effectively. What do you think Luke's going to do if Schaefer bets about 80 or so? Fast call, it looks. 80, yeah. He does it casually to try and give the illusion of 
Well, I'm fine. Yeah, I have a seven or ten. Oh, you want to bet? I'll call. Is it gonna work? Well. Oh, that's such a big card, for Luke. That was the biggest yeah. card he could hit that didn't make his hand, right? Yep. Well, he'd rather the card be low, just to, so in case his opponent has ace ten or king ten, it didn't connect with him. But. And Schaefer did take the free card. Luke might have been check raising there. He's got a lot of draws. He missed. Schaefer Holy hit. Holy cow. And now Sh I think Luke might bet because he sees it's the only way out. And since there was a check in the turn, it looks like he only has to worry about a queen. You know, pocket eights might even fold at this point. You know, pocket fives is going to fold. I think Luke's going to find a bet, and then it's going to be an easy call, and that'll be the end of the hand. I don't think I'm that – oh, wow. This is a too – I don't, I, don't gosh, like, I don't like that play. Oh my gosh, how big is this? It's too big. How big is this? Call. Call. Yeah, I thought it was too big a play. Yeah, call. queen. It's good. He's doubled up. They're, they're going to be about even in chips. Holy cow. Luke's sick. Did he make too big? Was it too big a bet? Yeah, I think it was too big a bet. You, if you're going to bluff, you bluff the number that he's he's going to call all in all the way down to a lower number. He, Maybe you get, yeah, you're going to get eights and stuff like that to fold. I think uh, what you do is, in that spot, you can just check the river. I don't know. How's he feeling now? <sighs> oh, that hurts. A lot of times. Maybe all in isn't so bad because a lot of times you're going to get hands that just might call, like a seven, ten, a seven or a pocket eights or something like that. Maybe even a ten to fold. So, but he's sick right now. Jakey says even stacks. Oh, and he loves this moment. I mean, these are the kind of moments you just hope your opponent has the king jack or the, like, queen ten suited. Well, you, you hope he doesn't have the a7, or do you? You don't want that. It's funny. If he goes all in, it's he has a... He just calls. See, I would go all... I would go with a big raise there, no, maybe. No raise. I don't... Check. He just... Oh, well, did it go limp call? Yeah, yeah, and and, oh, and maybe wow, Luke has kind of got a sixth sense here. He didn't want to raise and have to have a decision for the re-raise. Well, no, Is that what a, happened? I, he has a runner runner flush draw and a gutter ball straight draw against a real hand that uh, is more of a check call, pick off bluffs kind of hand. I think he can see bet. I think Schwartz will see bet. The thing here is if Luke gets raised or um, called, he's going to slow down. Well, Luke has been deceptive here, but how deceptive has Schaefer been? Not raising with the ace. Does Luke expect it? Will Luke give him credit for an ace if he gets raised? I think he will. Does Schaefer want a fast play or slow play? He's gone for it. This looks like more. I'm not sure. Was it more? 170 total. It was 170. 110 more. So yeah, 110 more. See, now he's playing like he's saying, well, if I, this is, I think this is a mistake, actually, <coughs> because you're, you're calling too thin. And uh, he, he's, he's saying, if he's calling there, he's saying a queen or king is probably good, right? Right. Oh, and this is a terribly good card, but it could get him into trouble. Now they both have straight draws. I mean... One's just a gutter ball straight draw, but the other one now has a flush draw plus his straight draw, which he always had. It's really interesting. Yeah, and, you know. But he's gone deep. Yeah. He's gone really deep. He says all in. 300. Oh, he said 300. 300. So this is a very interesting thing. Now it's 300 to collect 720, and, and you have implied odds for the whole guy's stack because you definitely read him for strong. Maybe ace, nine of clubs or nine, ten, some kind of two parish really strong hand maybe a seven eight i mean whatever you know cool you're getting paid cool. yeah he's going for it uh this is the problem with that first call it can sometimes lead to a second call which can be sometimes painful of course this next card comes a jack you know or a spade well he Bingo. knows he's got 12 outs because it's 12 outs virtually to the nuts and if he there's 500 more to win i mean it could 
Yeah, he, it's. Oh, I wish I had time to think about it, but he did it. <laughs> this pot's massive. He, has, he will get the rest of his chips if he hits it, though. I think he will. Holy cow! No, it's Schaefer. Schaefer's hit the trait. I know. It's it's insane. Is there any? Of bet? course, you know he has I'm to go all in. in. Yeah. And the insta fold tells his opponent that he was on a hand that wasn't two pair or you know wasn't bottom. I like thinking for ten seconds and then folding, even though I'm insta folding. Hmm? What'd you have there? Ten six. You have ten six. No, what did you have? <laughs> not ten six. He's not telling. What a turn of events. Holy cow! It's one point five million to eight hundred thousand. He must be getting a little frustrated, Luke Schwartz. He had just clawed his way back from the first big pot. Now this one, square one again. Schaefer's hanging in there, tough. I just, I think the only plan Luke really needs to do to change things up is he really should have the shades on. And, you know, some gum wouldn't hurt. I know I've said it before, I don't want to sound like a broken record, but. You it's part it. of the metagame. It's <laughs> part of the metagame. You've got to kind of like a lot of calling. The problem is, is gum doesn't really look so good on TV. <laughs> oh, it doesn't? Uh, I like Schaefer's call. He's got a real strong hand. It can do a lot of crowbar action. Look oh at this. He's gosh. flopped a straight draw versus top pair, but middling kicker. So, Is Schwartz willing to stack it in here? I know this. That if uh, Is Schwartz willing to stack it in? Yeah, maybe because the flush draft. If it was a dry board, if there was no spades, it would be harder to call. But because of the spades, your opponent might be on a flush draw. And Schwartz has shown a tendency in the past with one pair. This is one pair. It's heads up. This is a very, very strong hand. I think you have to bet and commit a lot. Do you commit your whole stack? You bet small enough to, uh, what do you do? Bet 60 into? I feel like Schaefer's check raising. 80 or something? Gotta feel like Schaefer's check raising. Look at him. He's stealing himself. If he does it, I think he should go big. Call. He's just he's called. called. He's, he's gonna try and get away from him if he doesn't get it. He wants to maintain his lead. If he hits his hand, he'll get his man. Okay. Check. You know, Schwartz. There's a, the six looks, I, I actually, do I think this, the six is actually a card that your opponent could have if he called, you know, normally when the board pairs, you're happy about it. Oh, wow. It's just 150 might be a good bet. Let's see. You can only beat spades when you jam that on the flop. Yeah. Been a hundred half the pot, so now he's getting four to one. If Schwartz thinks he's 25% the call, that's then he'll call. We could have a bad jack or 33%, whatever. It's put one unit in to collect three units. You got a bad jack yeah. and call. That, that's what I'll do. Cool. Cool. He seemed to know. We said there's one thing that's you can have I can beat. I miss flush draw. Straight. Luke feels awful right now. Oh, he saw that the guy got there on the river. That has brought him low down, Luke Schwartz. Welcome back. Luke Schwartz has grinded his way back to nearly level with big blinds. Don't take many pots, and he's taken those small ones. I think we're going to see something with Luke. He's got that queen something. Look like queen nine. Too many chips, 20 big blinds, to just open raise with that kind of hand. Oh, he's queen nine off suit. He's limp. And he's limping. That's fine. I, I like a limp here or a big raise with the seven, eight of diamonds. Sorry. It's a pretty durable hand, but it doesn't play so good heads up. It plays much better. Wow. They, they both got a piece of it. We've got bottom straight draw and uh, runner, runner flush versus 
middle pair. Now, the last okay time kicker. Schaefer had the up and down straight draw, he called. Oh, this time he's check raised. This is a tough spot for Luke, you know? This is the, the eight high draw that's just, I think Luke is gonna fold this, and I think in the, against a lot, against in the, in the long run, I think you can fold this. It looks like a 10 is against you, you know? But if a 9 is out there, like a 9-7, you're just in great... Oh, a 10 there, yeah. Yeah, see, that's what he feels like it feels like. He's talking to him. Obviously, he's way behind against a 10. But the thing is, he's Schaefer's been willing to give up on a lot of pots. Luke has to appreciate that and fold here. I, I mean, I know it sucks because he's got the best hand, but... Uh, He's Schaefer has shown him that he's got discipline and been folding a lot, so he's going to be able to get these through occasionally, and I think this is an example. Well, let's see if Luke can sort this out. I don't, I don't know if the if he can find a call here. I don't know if I would. Cool. You go ten. Wow. He has called. Holy cow. He's going to be a two to one favorite. I don't know how he made that call. No. No. Wow. Wow, so he, found, he finds out his opponent doesn't have a 10. He's super stoked, but he, he's going to, you know, he's this is sick of it. This is the pot. This yep. is the pot. Look how much is in this pot. 2.35 million. Th there's only 50,000 spare here. Yep. It's, it's, it's one big blind. Everything else is in the pot. It's the whole thing is in there. Wow. Schaefer a needs a six or a jack or running diamonds, and that is it. He could have put him on two over cards in a gutter ball, like Queen King or something, which would be like a Let's huge call. How many... Jacks and sixes are there in the deck, really? <laughs> He's trying to calculate it out. I know there's diamonds. <laughs> I've got a diamond there as well. Oh my god. Oh, oh wow. Oh wow, this is Same incredible. story, reroll. Now, that's a, now his chances are even higher. He's any diamond or a six or a jack. Wow, what's going to happen? This is for all the chips and the whole thing, except for, I mean, it's the whole thing essentially. Fifty thousand left. Super high black card. Wow! The deuce, yes. the he black deuce. Did it? He did he has it. Done it. It's over. <laughs> now they don't know that yet. They because their stacks were so big, they didn't know who had covered. Schaefer right now feels like, well, I might have fifty or hundred left over. Phil, They're gonna find out. Phil, wow. he could have had egg all over his face wow. with that call. Wow! He could have had egg all over his face with that call. And Schaefer is in pain. I mean, that's tough. He got he, so far, and he's a great player. Luke Schwartz feels like he sealed the deal, but... But he's been here before, and it can get away. These things can get away, people at home. Let's see, what does he have? 160? Yeah, he's all in. Doesn't matter what he has. <coughs> Luke, I guess, had a, an option. And, uh... He's gone with it. Does 160 become 320 here? We're going to find paint out for soon. Fun. Luke Schwartz has paint. Queen Jack. And Schaefer has ace high, which is still going to win a lot of time. Oh, yes. that's just very strong. It's good. It's a good start. He did hit a, a, uh, the flop came with a, Four again, a pair for Schwartz, you know? Just for comic value. <laughs> for comic value, Luke says, give me a four. Because a four will lose All a right, point. Ace. Ace. He's strong, he's begging for the pain. Ace, please. He doesn't get it and he wins the match. Yeah, cheers. Fantastic <laughs> stuff. Luke Schwartz gonna be Luke. at the final table. This guy You know what? I don't I don't know where the controversy is. I see a perfect gentleman. The winner for Heat 1 and the first person through to the final table is Luke Schwartz. Congratulations. That heads up in particular was quite a marathon for you and, and a bit of a roller coaster as well. Yeah, it was. Um, I probably shouldn't have let myself um, get into those big pots without the nuts versus them because I was just winning all the small pots really well. So um, that was a bit of a mistake. But apart, from, those were the only real mistakes, the two big pots that I didn't need to play with him when I had King Queen and I can't remember the other one. But apart from that, I just dominated, especially after Jovial Gent got knocked out. I took the pressure off me because he was to my left. And then I knew those two weren't going to three bet me without it type of thing. So I was able to just open loads. Do you think that was part of your edge at the table throughout? Being able to open and knowing where your spots were? Yeah, but when um, Timochenko was on the table, like he, he's obviously a world-class player. He can free bet me in a lot of spots, put me in some tough spots. So when he was out, I felt just a lot of freedom. And then I sort of knew I was going to win it when he went out.
Well, congratulations, and uh, we're going to see you at the final table. Well Thanks done. Cheers. Congratulations again to Luke Schwartz. He goes straight through to our final table, and Christian Schaefer gets another chance in our runners up heat. Join us next time for heat number two, and it's another cracker of a lineup. We have World Series of Poker Europe final tableist Praz Banzi, two time bracelet winner JP Kelly, and the infamous Phil Ack all eyeing up a spot at the final table here at the Party Poker World Open 5. I gotta cool down the jets here. Oh, I'm getting frustrated. This is the real stuff, kid. This is the real stuff. This is play stuff. Cut it. Don't show that head. It's the best bit I've ever seen in my life. This is what's gonna get me busted, my big mouth.